Hey, I thought I'd just come on and introduce myself. So I am Katie and I currently have two dogs. I have Archie who's my old guy. He is 14 and a half and is a Jack Russell cross corgi. He used to do agility um, from when he was just over a year I think it was we started um, and he retired when he was about 10, 11 around there. I think it was just before his 11th birthday. So he got to a really good standard, he competed, um, we got up to grade 5. Um, in the UK there's 7 grades, so he got up to grade 5, which is quite a um, high level. Um, he retired because um, obviously he was getting a little bit older and he was struggling a little bit with um, the demands of um, what agility brings. See like jumping and the tight turns and everything. So I decided to retire him just because he wasn't enjoying it quite as much as he used to. And he was just struggling a little bit with um, having to um, twist and turn and jump and everything. So he's only a little guy anyway. Um, as you see in the videos, he's only got tiny little corgi legs. So um, obviously he wasn't the best suited physically. But he did love it, so we did it for a bit of fun. He also did a little bit of tribal. So that is basically urban herding. So herding up some yoga balls, basically, um, which he loved having the corgi in him, which is a herding breed. So being able to herd in the yoga balls was perfect for him. Um, the terrier side of him would come out every now and again and try and then chase them, kill the ball as soon as they moved. So some days he was a bit conflicted on whether to herd or chase and kill. Um, but yeah, he now loves laying on the sofa or in my bed most days and just sleeping the days away. He still comes out most days um, and is fairly active. Not quite as much as he used to be, but he still puts in a good effort most days. Um... Then I have Buzz, a Border Collie, who is coming up for four. I think his birthday's in a few weeks now, so he'll be turning four. Um, I got him when he was about 16 weeks, and I was his third owner. So he was basically just a typical Border Collie um, that just wanted something to do, and obviously being a high-energy working dog, um... He wasn't suited to just a general pet life, um, which his owner, original owners, uh, wanted. Just a dog to take for you know a half hour, hour walk a day, and that's pretty much it. Um, sit on the sofa with them and like cuddle them. Um, collies, unfortunately, generally aren't that way, um, so he didn't like that life, and because he wasn't getting the attention or training mental stimulation, all that sort of stuff that he needed. Um, it led to him doing his own thing, um, which happened to be stealing stuff off the washing line and um, the kids' toys, things like that, that most owners don't want. Um, but obviously, he didn't know any better. He then went to his next home and basically they just couldn't cope with um, him and the other dog so I then said I'll take him on uh, see how he gets on with my other dogs at the time I had Archie and another Jack Russell um, I said I'll see how he gets on I'll either keep him because um, I did want a collie if it doesn't work out then I will find him a suitable home um, and three and a half years later he's still here safe to say that he's staying um so again he does agility and he loves it um we missed out on his first year of competing because of covid um so we only really started last year doing a few little competitions um i'm hoping this year we'll be able to do some more um and i mentioned my other jack russell um woody um I got him the year Archie retired from agility. I think it was only about a week or so after he retired, he came home. Um, I actually did 
agreed to have him before Archie retired. Um, but because we were going on holiday for the last week of his competitions, um, I said it'd probably be better to have him um, when once we get home. So Woody was two and a half when he came to me. He um, was really nervous and unsure of new people and other dogs that we met. So on the first day, he actually tried to bite me a couple of times just whilst trying to get him into the car. Um, so it took him a couple of weeks just to get used to me and Archie and eventually he ended up loving me and he was fine. He um, would come and plonk himself next to me demanding to stroke him. He would literally um, nudge my hand with his head until I would stroke him. Um, yeah, he had epilepsy, so it wasn't for about a year or so that he started having the seizures. Um, so yeah, he was about three and a half, four-ish, um, when he had his first seizure with me. Um, so we had to monitor that, and it is what he ended up, um, having to be put to sleep for. So... He was six and a half when he was put to sleep um, back in the summer. Um, would have been his seventh birthday last week, actually. Um, but yeah, he um, went downhill quite quickly um, and was just having so many seizures. The vets tried to stabilise him, but they just couldn't. Um, we could have taken him to a specialist, but he would have had to been stable enough to travel to the specialist and we don't know if the specialist would have been about to do any more than my vet had done for him so it was a big risk trying to get him there and then trying to help him when he was there and obviously i had to think of his quality of life after all of that the chances were he was going to come out of that episode with some kind of brain damage so I didn't want to have to put him through that and I just knew that it was his time so I made a decision just to have him put to sleep. Um, he was So he wasn't suffering anymore and we just didn't have the uncertainty anymore of is he going to have a seizure or isn't he, is he going to be fine because it was getting harder and harder to plan things. So obviously when he first started having them it was sort of a month, two months or so in between the seizures, but at the end it could have been, you know, two or three days in between seizures, and then other times it was a week or so, and other times it was a month. So it was really hard to know um, when he was going to have a next seizure. Um, it could have been any day, it could have been months before he had one. Um, and when he was having them, he was having quite a lot at once, so... All that just contributed to me deciding the best thing for him was just to let him go and not suffer anymore. Although I would have loved to have him around still, it's just not fair on him to put him through all that just for my sake. So I now have Archie and Buzz. Um, I said I won't have any others until Archie's gone. So as I say, he's older, he's 14 and a half. He's really struggling these days, he's slowing down and he's got a bit of dementia as well. So obviously his me memory and that isn't so great. So obviously I don't want to stress him out with a new dog in the home, whether that's an older dog or puppy. And I'm thinking for my next dog I'll probably get a puppy. So obviously they are hard work anyway. So I want to be able to put all my attention into a puppy while still giving my comic dogs the attention and need, meet their needs. So obviously I just don't feel I can do that with a puppy and Archie at the moment. So it'll probably be at least another year or so till I get another pup. But obviously a lot of that depends on Archie, how much longer he sort of is around for and sort of how it goes with that. So I am a dog walker and dog trainer. So, 
Monday to Thursday I do dog walks and then Friday I have someone else cover the walks for me and I do training sessions so I do a lot of like puppy stuff and sort of young dog training so just general training stuff so putting on lead, um, recall, uh, all that sort of stuff but then I also do agility training so I have some agility classes on a Friday and on a Saturday so that is pretty much what I spend my life doing. So I'm either uh, training and then looking after my dogs or I'm training and walking other people's dogs. So um, with the training, I do sort of training walks where I take the dog out uh, for the owner, do the training for them and then drop them back home, give them feedback and all that. Or I do typical one-to-one -one sessions where um, I'm basically training the owner to train the dog. Um, and then agility is typical sort of agility class setting where the owners come along with their dog and then we go through the lesson I sort of have a lesson plan and then sort of teach them um, basically a lesson that I've come up with so a lot of mine at the moment are beginners so we're going through all the foundations and building up their skills um, yeah obviously if you're interested in doing agility I didn't know where to find a trainer, drop me a message and I'll um, point you in the right direction of how to find a good uh, trainer because um, you don't want to just go with anyone. You do want to be careful who you go to. You want to make sure they have enough experience and you want to make sure that they're doing it uh, safely. So obviously I see quite a lot of uh, classes where the dogs are always on lead doing it. Well, that isn't really safe because obviously if the dog like falls off a piece of equipment they could strangle themselves if they're on lead so obviously obviously and obviously we want to teach dogs well to navigate the equipment without falling off anyway so um obviously you want to make sure you find the right trainer that knows how to safely introduce the equipment off lead and um how to just teach agility in the right way so if you're interested in agility, then let me know and I'll uh, be able to help you find the right trainer for you in your area. Um, also comment below on what dogs you have or what dogs you would like to get. Um, always interesting to know what mix of dogs people have. Um, especially if you have multiple dogs that are different breeds, it's always good to see what breeds people have. Um, whether it's the same dogs, two of like the same breed, or if it's similar sort of breeds, or if it's completely different breeds. So comment that down below and go check out some of my other videos. I've got a few on here now. And I'll, I am trying to do videos on a Tuesday and Friday. So uh, hit subscribe and the little bell thing, and I f believe that brings um yeah, up on your new your suggestions uh better and we'll let you know when videos are up so i'll see you next week